I'll do that, chums, because I counted on the Steves. And today, chums, I'm editing a video to send over to Hello Games on all of the improvements that I feel need to be added to fishing inside of No Man's Sky in the way that it currently is now. If you want to get involved, hit up the comment section and start typing your ideas to improve fishing. And let's see if by the end of the video whether I've already said your idea. But anyways, get typing. Uh, yeah, I'm sending this over to the Zendesk. Cool. I hope you enjoy these and I hope you agree. If you agree, hit a like. If you don't, you can always hit a dislike. Yeah, it's interaction. Okay, jumps, so this is sort of like a little mini segue in how far I've been how far I've got so far. And something that's really interesting, is though that I'm fishing at the deepest of depths, you would expect to see quite a lot of colossals and larges. But what I've actually caught at this depth so far is a lot of colossals, which in fairness, that's what I expected. But I've caught no larges, not a single large fish yet. And I've caught quite a lot of mediums, which is a little bit unexpected. But then on top of that, I've actually caught quite a substantial amount of smalls, which again, you wouldn't expect fishing at the deepest. I mean, especially when you hover over these, and it even says, typically found in shallower water. It's a bit weird. Some biomes, like the last one I'd done, the exotic biome, it was very much where you fished mattered on this radiated world not so much i think they've got a little bit more balancing to do inside of the fishes i really do yeah now i've just got a small at the deepest hole yes i you i'm using bionic law so rarity is good but i really feel that anything that's not biome lot biome specific different habitats all over the galaxy i think you should only be able to catch this sort of stuff if you use something like maggots or you use no bait at all Otherwise, I think if you've got bait on the line and it's something pretty darn decent that you've took time to craft, I don't think you should catch this sort of stuff. This stuff is just serves no no purpose, no interest. It's not good for those that are trying to complete their catalogue at all. If I'm going real fishing in real life, I'll put a fly on the fish on the line if I want to catch myself trout or or salmon. Yeah. If I want to catch a pike, I'll put on a, a spinner or a law. Uh, if I want to catch a carp, I'd use bread or I'd use cheese or something like that. You know, you know what baits are going to pull what fish out of the ocean. And at the moment, we're not seeing that inside of here. I, I might send this video over to Hello Games and say, can you tighten it up a bit? Maybe make it so these fish that are found in all different habitats. So you caught another one. And this is on bionic laws, which are hard to make. Different habitats. I think you should only catch these if you're using something like maggots or if you're using no bait at all. Okay. Otherwise, I think that you should be hooking biome related fish only when you've got a bait on the line that you've crafted. So another thing that I think should happen is you see I've got the shadow lure on right now because I want to catch the night fish. It'd be nice if it attracted night fish even in the daytime. And then you can use the day orb at night if you need to catch day fish. So when you're in this situation, you don't have to sit around for freaking ages. So hello games, if you're watching, please make that a thing as well another thing you know i'm using the bionic law because bionic law has given me the ability to catch legendary now if i've got a legendary to catch at night and it only appears at night the shadow orb doesn't give you legendary so it really narrows your chances of successfully catching a fish there needs to be other boats inside of the game that give you legendary catch rate at night at day and in storm because those legendaries are super hard to catch and i've used probably about 110 bionic laws trying to catch this one legendary night catch at the moment just to give you an indication of what that night catch is it's just super hard it's called the aberrant dusk fish this guy inside of radioactive places it's weird it says poison seas but it's in a ra radioactive sea so i think the text is wrong as well but there we are well, let's suppose you can have radioactive poisoning. That's something I've definitely heard of. But poisoning I would associate with swamp or toxic wells. Whereas this would be irradiated. So but the radiation is still poisonous. I don't care. That was that other rare one that I needed. The glowing catfish. You know, but that's large, which we've already got. Shadow Law is good at attracting night fish, just not the legendaries. I think they need to up the chance of legendary on the night orb and the day orb and also the storm. I think they all need to have a higher legendary catch rate. It's something I think should feature in 
is also the class of your multi-tool. So my multi-tool is an S class. So I think that should improve the catch rate. It would be nice when you hover over this to see the actual catch rate on the sort of class of multi-tool you've got, perhaps. I don't know. Or if we could get another module to put next to this fishing rod to increase rarity catch rate. So at least then if you are using uh, the, the shadow law that I'm using right now, because it hasn't got a very good rarity catch, but it attracts night fish, at least it would give the boost to rarity as well as the ability for night, is what I'm thinking. 